Hello everybody, welcome to game number 69 in the Washington Nationals replay. This is game 2 of 4 against the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks won the first game, 7 to 5, behind the great pitching of Zach Grinke. And now the Nationals looking to even the series. And they've got their best man to try to do it, that is Mad Max. Max Scherzer, he's on the mound for the Nationals. And left-hander Robbie Ray will be on the mound for the Diamondbacks. Let's look at the standings up to the date. And the Nationals, with their loss, dropped three games behind the Mets now as the Mets won their game. So Mets are 41 and 27. Washington is 38 and 33 games back. Philadelphia is eight games behind. Atlanta's eight and a half. And Miami is in a distant last. Let's look at the starting lineups first for the Diamondbacks. Gerard Dyson's in center. Cattell Marte is at second. David Peralta's in left. Adam Jones is in right. Eduardo Escobar is at third. Crone is the first baseman, giving Christian Walker the day off. Nick Ahmed is at short. Carson Kelly is catching. And Robbie Ray is pitching. Now, there was a roster move. Alex Avila, who caught in the game previously, was injured or sent to the minors or something. So, Kelly takes over as the catcher. And Caleb Joseph has been added to the roster as the backup catcher. So... Caleb Joseph is now on the roster. He only had 38 at-bats. So he's in there in a backup capacity to Carson Kelly. And defensively for the Nationals, we got Soto in left. Taylor is Michael Taylor's in center, and Victor Robles is in right. So Adam Eaton's getting the day off against the left-hander Ray. So it's Soto, Taylor, and Robles in the outfield. Infield, Rendon, Turner, Dozier, and Kendrick with Suzuki catching the offerings of Max Scherzer. So the only lefty in the lineup is Juan Soto. Everybody else... They're going with right-handers, and the left-handers are sitting. Let's look at the stand of uh, the statistics on Mad Max through the season replay so far. He has had 14 starts. He is 7-4 with a 2.64 ERA. He's thrown 99 innings, given up 79 hits, 31 runs, 29 of which were earned, 22 walks, and 133 strikeouts. So Mad Max looking to get win number 8 here against the D-backs and try to even the series. So let's get the things in motion here to get that started. Make sure that we're good to go as far as everything I can tell. Looks like we are as far as the focus and whatnot would go. You can see the dice. Got the dice right here, so they're all ready to go. All right, Mad Max finishing up the warm-up tosses. And the speedster, Gerard Dyson. At least he used to be a speedster. I guess he still is. He stole 30 bases in 2019, so... Former Kansas City Royal, but now Arizona D-back in 2019. Gerard Dyson. Got the replay PC computer in front of me, ready to go. And we have the charts for the inside pitch as well as the rare play. So everything seems to be copacetic. So we'll get ready to play game 69 here at Nats Park. This game was played on June the 14th of Friday night. No idea when it's going to post, but uh, we'll see. All right, so Gerard Dyson stepped in, hitting 233, four homers and 16 driven in. And game 69 underway. Scherzer, 2 1 is a strikeout plus to a righty, but Dyson's a lefty, so that's a blank. So we go to Dyson's card. 4 1, and that is a fly to left. So one down is Scherzer retires Dyson. One away for Cattell Marte, and Marte and Escobar are both really lighting it up in the replay. He's got 24 home runs and 52 driven in and a 338 average, so he's bucking for a triple crown here the way it's going. Scherzer, though, trying to calm him down. 1-3 is a strikeout, but 20 is too high. Go to Marte, 6-4, and he flies to left, so it's two flies to left field. And a good start for Mad Max, although no strikeouts, which is unusual. He usually racks up the strikeouts. But he'll take the outs, no problem. Here's David Peralta hitting 262, seven homers and 30 driven in. 2 1 is a strikeout plus again to a righty, but again, Peralta's a lefty, so no strikeout. 5 4, and that's another fly to left. Boy, three fly balls to left field. That's kind of unusual. But Soto gets his workout in early with three putouts in left field. And at the end of half an inning of play, it is Arizona nothing. And. Washington coming to bat. Robbie Ray. We'll check out the numbers on Robbie Ray. Look at his numbers. 
on the replay. He's had 14 starts also, just like Mad Max. He's 8-4, and four, but his ERA is 5.35. The reason he's 8-4 and four is because Arizona scores a lot of runs, and he still gets a lot of run support. 72 and a third innings, 73 hits, 47 runs, 43 earned, 35 walks, and 83 strikeouts. And these are all sim numbers done by the replay PC game. So that's where that's coming from. Let's look at the lineup for the Nationals. It'll be Trey Turner at short, Robles in right, Rendon at third, Soto in left, Kendrick at first, Dozier at second, Suzuki catching, Taylor in center, and Scherzer on the mound. Interesting how in the beginning of the season, like the first 25 or 30 games or so, that uh, Dave Martinez was insistent on the pitcher batting eighth, and that's, that uh, trend or that uh, phase or whatever you want to call it is, seems to have gone away. Bad, maybe is the best way to call it. Um, so that seem, he seems to have ditched that particular effort here lately, or at least in the last 20 or 30 games he hasn't. So I guess maybe on certain occasions they'll might do that, but for the most part he's batting the pitcher ninth. So we are ready to go. Trey Turner hitting 254, four, seven, four homers, 17 runs driven in against the lefty Robbie Ray. 3-3, that's a hit by pitch. He's a 4, Ray's a minus 3, so there's no hit by pitch. Turner will swing, 4-2, and he's going to single pass first base. So Trey Turner starts off for the Nationals with the base hit, and he's going to be looking to move up some another base here. He's got an attempt of 6, see if he can get a jump. That's a 15, so no jump. He's got to stand pat. Here's Victor Robles playing right field in place of Adam Eaton. Hitting 233, six homers, and 30 driven in. He's actually done very well lately. He was around the Mendoza line not that long ago, so he's upped his average to 233. Pretty good job. Uh, strategy, we already had the strategy roll, so here we go with Robles. 6 3, possible error on a throw. <clears throat> 1 3, and that's a fly to left, so no throw to worry about. One down as Peralta puts it away. And we'll see if. Turner can get the jump this time. Again, attempt of a six. Nope, can't do it again. So he's got to stay pat again. Robbie Ray holding him close. Here's Rendon hitting 288, 14 homers, and 41 driven in. 3-5, and that's a strikeout chance. 11 is too high, so we go to Rendon. 2-3, and he's going to line it to short. Possible double play, although not very likely. With a runner on first. In order to have a line out to short, run on first, a line out to short, you need a one. So this has to be a one for it to be a double play. Otherwise, he gets back. And it's a five, so Turner gets back easily. But Rendon hit it hard, but had nothing to show for it. Liner to short, two down. And now Turner will try again to get the jump. This time he does. So Turner will get a chance to steal. Turner's attempt is an 18. Robbie Ray's a minus one for a 17. Kelly's a minus one for a 16. One to 16, he steals it. And he does. So Trey Turner gets the stolen base. Took him a while, but he finally got it. He's in scoring position with two outs for Juan Soto. Soto hitting 276, 15 homers, and 48 driven in. Strategy roll for a pickoff, and nothing's happening. Ray, 6-4, strikeout plus, and he got him. That's going to end the inning, so the stolen base really didn't do anything other than pad his stats. No runs a hit, no errors, and a man left. At the end of one, we have no score from Nationals Park. So Mac, Max Scherzer will come back out and face the cleanup man, Adam Jones, for the D-backs. Adam Jones. He's hitting 291, 11 homers, and 33 driven in. 3-4, strikeout plus, and he finally gets his first strikeout of the game. So Mad Max gets strikeout number 134 on the season. So the K corner has finally got some business over there as the first fan puts in their K. Here is Escobar. He's hitting 319 with 24 homers and 67 driven in. 1-1, one, one, that's an error on a ground ball, possibly. 5-2, that's a pop-up to short, so no ground ball to worry about. Turner puts it away. No problem whatsoever. Or as Arnold Schwarzenegger would, might say, no problema. 
And here's Kevin Crone. Kevin Crone, not to be confused with the lead singer of REO Speedwagon, Kevin Cronin. But Kevin Crone is on. He's hitting 250, two homers and five driven in in limited duty. He's only had 32 at-bats. Eight hits and 32 at-bats, but two of them have left the yard. Scherzer, 4-2, strikeout chance, 17, got, uh, does not get him. He's a 16, and the stadium doesn't help him. So no strikeouts. So Crone will swing away, 3-5, and he's going to ground to short. Turner, Johnny on spot, and it's a 1-2-3 inning for Max Scherzer. We go to the bottom of the second. Still no score from Nats Park. Scherzer and Robbie Ray looking to hook up in a pitcher's duel. We'll see how that plays out. Howie Kendrick will lead off for the Nationals. And for Kendrick, for Kendrick, he is hitting 306, 10 homers, and 42 driven in. Howie Kendrick against Robbie Ray. 3-1, possible error on a ground ball. 5-6, that's a single to right field. No error to worry about. Uh, Jones is only a 5, that's a 15, so there's no, there won't be any error. But it will be a single. Second Nationals player to lead off the inning with a single. Kendrick has an attempt of 1. But nothing's happening. So we go to Brian Dozier, he's hitting 277. 8 homers and 26 driven in. 2-4, that's a strikeout chance, but 18 is too high. We go to Dozier. 3-3 three, three is a star six, which is a fly to right for out number one. So one away. And that will send us to Suzuki. Again, we'll check the strategy roll and nothing's happening. Suzuki hitting 284, four homers and 19 driven in. 6-3 is a possible error on a throw. Go to Suzuki, 1-4 to fly to right. No throw to worry about. Two down. And Kendrick still standing at first base. For Michael Taylor, hitting 162. No homers and four driven in. He's only had 68 bats on the season. Strategy roll, nothing happening. Ray, 4-4. Four, four, strikeout plus, and he got him. And that's going to end the inning. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left at the end of two from Nats Park. We are scoreless still. And Mad Max is over here. The only thing I don't like about the score, I love this Bob Carpenter scorebook, but the only thing I don't like about it, and maybe I'm just missing the spot on here, they got the nice line score here so you can see the score as the game's going along, but when I flip to this side, it doesn't show, there's no place for me to put the score that I can see. So you kind of have to, you know, pay attention to what the score is when I flip to this side. So um, unless I find a way to, to do something otherwise, I don't know how to really do it. So maybe I can jury rig something. I don't know. Uh, well, we'll just, it's been like this the whole time, so might as well keep it going. 256 for Nick Ahmed, eight homers, 31 driven in. Max Scherzer, 4-2 is a strikeout chance, and he got him. Strikeout number two for Max. That's kind of low for him. He gets that in one inning, usually. And here's Carson Kelly hitting 244, four homers and 14 driven in. 3-5, that's a possible error on a throw. 5-4, that's a fly to center, so there won't be a throw to worry about as Michael Taylor puts it away. Two down for the pitcher, Robbie Ray. And on the season, in the replay, he is 0 for 15. He has no average or zero average, 0 for 15. In real life, he had a 0 73 average. Scherzer, 3 5. And again, a possible error on the throw. 5 2 is a star 6. That's a fly to right, and that's going to end the inning. So once again, the Diamondbacks come away empty handed. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We go to the bottom of the third. No score from Nats Park. And leading off will be Max Scherzer for the Nationals. He's a very good hitter, particularly for a pitcher. He is hitting in the replay. He's hitting 324, no homers, and five driven in. In the actual season, he was a 182 hitter. But I've already used him a couple times as a pinch hitter when they ran out of position players. So 
Mad Max can also be a pinch runner. He runs pretty well. Although his BR is only a one, he did steal a base. Stole two bases, actually. All right, here's Robbie Ray to Scherzer. Three ones, possible error on a ground ball. Scherzer, 6-2, struck. It's got a, like a lot of pitchers have, they have a straight up K on their card. And he gets the K. So Robbie Ray strikes out his counterpart, Scherzer. He's got three strikeouts already. Here's Trey Turner. 3-5, another possible strikeout, and he got him. So strikeout number four. Robbie Ray is outdoing Scherzer on the K corner right now with four Ks. Here's Victor Robles. 4-1, another strikeout chance, and he got him. So he strikes out the side here in the third. And Robbie Ray says, Max who? So three complete, no score here at Nationals Park. Scherzer back out says, we got to do something about these Ks. I want to start King some people to catch up. So he may just have to do that. We'll have to wait and see. Bottom of the fourth, or top of the fourth we go, rather. Top of the order, Gerard Dyson in a scoreless game. Scherzer to Dyson, 5-3. That's a strikeout plus to a righty, but against a lefty, it's a blank. So no strikeout there. Dyson will swing. 4-2, and against a right-hander, it's a split chance. That's a ground out, ground out to second. So Dyson is retired, and that sends us to Cattell Marte, the dangerous Cattell Marte. Scherzer, 6-1, and that's a straight-out single against a lefty. That's a straight-out single. First hit of the game for either team. and it, I'm sorry, for the uh, Diamondbacks, or the Nationals already had two. But first hit of the game for the D-backs, and it's a... One out single by Marte. He's got an attempt of one, and he did steal 10 bases on the season. But no attempt is going to be made here. He will stand pat, and here's Peralta. 3-1 is potential walk, but 20 is too high. For the Peralta, 6-4. Ground ball to second. Could be a double play. He's a two, but Scherzer takes away one, makes it a one. They are halfway, makes it a two. The pivot is a zero. One to two, it's a double play. Anything else could be a fielder's choice or runner advance. It's a six, so runners are going to advance. So on the advance, that's going to end up being a 4-3 ground out. As Dozier's only play turned out to be to go to first. And Marte will get in the scoring position with two outs. And setting it up for Adam Jones. Jones struck out his first chance. No strategy roll needed. 5-5, five, five, that's the ballpark card going to Nationals Park for the first time. And it does have several home run chances. 6-2, not one of them. 6-1 would have been a home run chance, but 6-2 is a ground out to first. 6-1 would have been a home run because that 3 would have fit into that 9 very nicely. But the 6-2 is a ground ball to first. And Kendrick takes it to the bag himself to end the inning. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of the fourth, still scoreless, here at Nats Park. Robbie Ray back out. We'll be facing the heart of the order. Anthony Rendon, Juan Soto, and Howie Kendrick. Numbers three, four, and five for the Nationals, trying to do some damage. Rendon lined to short his first time up. Five, two. That's the ballpark card going right back to Nationals Park. 1-2, and that's a pop-up to the catcher, Kelly. So he pops it straight up in the air, does Rendon, and in fair territory, in fair territory, not that it matters, it will be fielded by Carson Kelly. One down, and that's going to bring up Juan Soto. 2-4, strikeout chance, but 10 against a lefty is too high, so... Against the righty, he would have struck out, but not against the lefty. So Soto will swing. 3-3, three, three, and he's going to double to right field. So he fought off the strikeout and cracks a double. One out double for Juan Soto. And that'll send us to Howie Kendrick. Strategy roll for a pickoff chance. But there's no 20, so nothing to worry about. Kendrick singled his first time up. 5-4 is a strikeout plus, and he got him. So Kendrick is out on strikes. Two down, and that's going to send us to Brian Dozier. Again, the pickoff chance, nothing happening. 
Ray to Dozier, 5-6 is a range play. So we're going to Dozier's card for a range check. 4-5 is a fly to center field. The range of the center fielder Dyson is a 3. 1-3, to three, Dyson makes the catch. 4-5 or 6, the Nationals will take the lead. It's a 3, so Dyson saves a run and makes the catch. Because Soto would have definitely scored on that to end the inning. So Dyson... It's a big thank you from Robbie Ray as they leave the field for the Nationals. No runs, a hit, no errors, and a man left. That's been that way in three of the four innings. We go to the fifth, no score from Nats Park. Pitcher's duel has come to fruition so far. And again, Mad Max not getting a lot of run support, which has been his kind of bugaboo the whole season, which is why his record's only 7-4, and four, even though he's pitching very well. Here's Escobar, popped the short his first time, 2-6, strikeout chance, not going to do it. So even Mad Max is not getting the strikeouts. He's only got two so far in four innings. So Escobar will swing, 6-1, he's going to single to left field. Leadoff single for Escobar, and he's got an attempt of a one, but nothing's happening. So we'll go to Kevin Crone. 6-4, strikeout plus, he got him, so that's strikeout number three for Max. Still a little low for his standards, but he'll take it for the out. Brings up Nick Ahmed. Nothing on the strategy roll. 2-5, strikeout chance, got him, so now the strikeouts are picking up. Two down, and that's going to send us to Carson Kelly, the catcher. Nothing on the... Strategy roll. Scherzer, 3-1 is a walk chance. 15, we'll get him. Stadium even adds one, but he didn't need it. It's a two-out walk, and that'll put runners at first and second as Escobar moves up. But now you got the pitcher, Robbie Ray, who has not had a hit all year. So if you're Mad Max, he's the guy you want to face. No strategy roll this time. 2-1, Ray's a lefty, so there's no strikeout plus. Ray will get to swing. 6-4, he's going to ground it to short, and that's going to end the inning. So no runs, a hit, no errors, and two left. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, still no score from Nationals Park. And it'll be the bottom of the order coming up for Washington. As it'll be Adam, it'll be Suzuki, Adam, I'm sorry, Suzuki, Michael Taylor, and Scherzer. So Kurt Suzuki, the first one up. Suzuki, his first chance, flew to right. Ray, 4-4, four, four, strikeout plus, got him. So Ray is tallying up the strikeouts faster than Scherzer is. Suzuki is out of there. Here's Michael Taylor. 6-5, as a strikeout chance, but 19 is too high. So to Taylor, 6-1, he's going to fly to left. That's out number two. Two down, and Max Scherzer, the batter. One, two is a possible error. Five, four is a star six, which is a fly to right. Right fielder error rating Jones is only a five. That's an 18. It would have had to been a five or less to be an error, but 18 is well above that for an easy play. It's a one, two, three inning. And we go to the sixth. Still... Nothing doing for either team. Both starters giving it their all and trying to outdo the other. Both have now pitched five innings and given up. Scherzer's given up two hits and Ray's given up three hits. So we're back to the top of the order and Gerard Dyson. Dyson 0 for 2, flew to left and grounded to second. 2-2 two -two for Scherzer's a strikeout chance, but 20 is too high. 6-1, six, star 6 is a fly to right. One down. And let me check something real quick. I've been putting my hand in the way a lot. And I thought my I thought the focus might have gotten away there because I was moving my hand around too much. So hopefully, I haven't been watching it, so hopefully the focus hasn't been that blurry for that long. But I did want to check it to because that this phone has a tendency to do that. Anytime I put something underneath here, it throws the focus off somehow. So here we go, Cattell Marte, the batter. 
6-4 on Scherzer. It's a strikeout plus, and he got him. So that's out number two. Two down, and that brings us to Peralta. Peralta is 0 for 2. 6-2 is a ballpark card going to Nationals Park. 3-4, and that is a ground ball to short. Almost got a home run. 3-3 would have been a home run, but 3-4 is a ground ball to short. And it's another 1-2-3 inning for Mad Max. We go to the bottom of the six, still zip-zip. Robbie Ray will be facing the top of the order and Trey Turner to start the bottom of the sixth. Okay, just checking the focus periodically. Now that I lost it that one time, I want to make sure it doesn't go away again if I can. Turner, one for two with a stolen base. 6-2 is a straight-up home run chance. Against lefties, he's only a 4. That's a 10. Against a right-hander, he would have hit a home run. But against a lefty, he comes up short. It's just a blank. So he gets a swing. 5-4. Question mark 9 against a lefty. 1-13 to is a hit. That's a 4. So it will be a single. Lead-off single for Trey Turner. It doesn't get the homer, but he does get the single. And you know he's looking to get past first base as fast as he can. Tempt is a six, but can't get the jump, so he's got to stay put. Here's Victor Robles, 0 for 2 with a strikeout. 5-3 is another strikeout chance. 13 is too high, though, so Robles will get a chance to swing. 6-1, fly to center. One down. One away for Anthony Rendon, so Turner now again try to get a jump. This time he gets it, so he will get a chance to steal. His attempt is, or stolen base is an 18. And I think we figured it out to be a 16. Minus one, minus one. So it's a one to 16. Anyway, he almost got a 17. Almost got thrown out, but he slides in around the tag of Nick Ahmed. So stolen base. Stolen base for Trey Turner. Gets him in the scoring position. Roll for a pickoff now. A 20, so a one to three, and he gets picked off second base. A four, and Robbie Ray throws it away. Five or higher, it's no play. It's a four, so it's a pickoff error. Robbie Ray has thrown this thing into center field. So an E1 is going to put, and as far as I know, it's only a one base error. I don't even think the new chart says anything about it necessarily. But I think all pickoff errors are just one base as far as I can tell. It seems to make, them, I mean, it makes the most sense to me. It's only a one base error. So it's an E1. That's going to put the runner at third base. So now the infield's got to come in with one out. That's a big, big error there because it puts Turner at third base. So the infield's got to come in. Roll for a pickoff again. Nothing happening. Rendon with the infield in. Turner runs at a three. The infield in drops him to a one. So on a ground ball, he's going to have to hold. Four six is a. He's not tired, so it's not going to be a single. So we're going to Rendon. 2 5 is a double to right field, so it doesn't matter where the infield end. That, that's a clouded double by Anthony Rendon, and the Nationals take the lead 1 to nothing. That's an earned run because he would have scored from second even without the error. So Rendon doubles to give the Nationals a 1 0 lead and finally give the scoreboard some company. Here's Juan Soto. Check again for uh, Strat. Nothing's happening. Ray, 1-4. Range play at Nationals Park. 5-6 is a ground ball to short. We're doing the range check of Ahmed. He's a 4. And he gets to it. 6-3 to three on the ground out. Now Rendon. Let's see. Let me check the new thing here. Checking the base run rating of Rendon, he is a three. So if this D6, if this D6 is higher than three, then he will he will have to hold. If it's a if it's four, five, or six, he's got to hold. One, two, or three, he gets to move up. He gets to move up. So Rendon will take third on the ground out with two outs. That may not be that big of a play, but 
You never know, a wild pitch or anything, he can score or an error. So that'll bring up Howie Kendrick. Strategy roll, nothing happening. Ray to Kendrick, 5-3 is a strikeout chance. Eight is too much. We go to Kendrick. 3-5, ground ball to short. That's going to end the inning. So that moving up to third didn't really come into play. But what did come into play was Anthony Rendon's double. His RBI double has given the Nationals a one to nothing lead after six innings of play. For the Nationals, it was one run on two hits, one error, and one left. We go to the seventh. It's Washington one and Arizona nothing. Now we, now that we're hitting the seventh inning, we got to start looking at fatigue. In fact, Robbie Ray can face Robbie Ray can face twenty three batters, and according to this, he has faced exactly twenty three batters, so he is now tired going forward. And let's see about Max. He can face twenty six, and as so far, he has faced twenty one. So he can go a little bit further. We're facing Adam Jones, Escobar, and Crone to start the top of the seventh. 2-4, and that's a double question mark against a right-hander. 1-2 to two is a single, but that's an 8, so treat it as a blank. Go to Adam Jones. 1-2 against a right-hander. That's a fly to right. Against the lefty, he would have doubled, but not against the righty. So fly to right field. Adam Jones is out of there. Bring us up Eduardo Escobar. Scherzer, 1-2. Strikeout chance, but 12 is too much. Escobar swings. 6-4. Starline 5, which is a fly to left field. And there's two away. Mad Max is about 50-50 on ground ball and fly ball. As his six starline outs, three are fly balls and three are ground balls. And his ground ball double play rating is a minus one. So he's probably a little bit more of a fly out pitcher than he is a ground ball pitcher. Here is Kevin Crone. He is grounded out and struck out. 3-5. That's a possible error on a throw. 6-1 is a liner to short, so no throw to worry about. That's just snagged by Turner. And the D-backs go out in order. 1-2-3. Seventh inning stretch time at Nationals Park. Singing your take me out to the ball games or whatever you like to do for the seventh inning stretch. I don't know what the Nationals, if they do anything special. You know, Sweet Caroline or whatever. I think it's mostly a Boston thing. But, you know, who knows what they could do. Maybe a little John Denver country boy or something like that. I have no idea what they do. So, Robbie Ray is going to come out. Now, he is tired, so the bullpen is, is active. We, they do have a right-hander in the bullpen ready to go. And that's Yoshi Hirano. Yoshi Hirano is ready to go if needed, but they're gonna let they're gonna see if Robbie Ray can keep it going. Here against actually Kendrick made the last out in the previous inning, so it's actually Dozier. Good thing I keep score because sometimes I forget to move the cards. All right, here is Dozier. Ray five one is a walk plus, and so leadoff walk to Dozier, and that's the first walk issued by Robbie Ray. So maybe that's an inkling that he might be losing it just a touch. Attempt of one for Dozier. Possible hit and run, but let's see. Are they going to hit and run with uh, Suzuki? They might do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we will. I think we'll try a hit and run. We haven't done a hit and run in a while. The strategy roll says we can do it, so why not? Ray to Suzuki. 2-3. Ballpark card. We're going to Nationals Park. 2-5, and that's a question mark 7. That's a 7. Up here, it's a single. So it's a single by Suzuki to left field. Now, the hit and run means you add 2 to the base running ratings. Let's see here. Yeah, all base running ratings are added by 2. So Dozier, who runs at a 5, is now a 7. Peralta is a minus 1 to make it a 6. And to get from first to third on a single to left, you do lose two. So that makes it a four. A one to four, and Dozier will make it. Six, that means somebody's going to be out. So we'll roll for Dozier, see if it's a one, he's going to be safe. If not, then he's going to be out. It's a five, so Dozier's going to be out trying. So Dozier is out seven to five as he got greedy. So... That's just the way it goes sometimes, but uh, 
try to take the extra base and get a little greedy and it doesn't work out. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles, as they say. Suzuki has no attempt, so he will stand pat. We will roll for the pickoff chances and there's nothing happening. Here's Michael Taylor. Ray, 2-2, two, two, strikeout plus, and he got him. That's two down. And that'll bring up Scherzer. So what looked like a promising inning for the Nationals is now seemingly going by the wayside, although Scherzer is a decent hitter. Can't go to sleep on him. Ray, nothing happening there. 1-6, strikeout plus, and he got him. And that's going to end the inning. So that may be it for Robbie Ray. He is, in fact, it will be it. He's set to bat third in the eighth inning. So he's done. No runs, a hit, no errors, and two left. We go to the eighth. It is Washington one and Arizona nothing. And we'll get the final totals on Robbie Ray before he exits. He goes, Robbie Ray will go seven innings. He's going to give up six hits and a run, which was earned. Walked one, struck out nine. So he certainly deserved a better fate. He can't win it. He could lose it, but if the D-backs come back and tie the game or take the lead, he would at least get a no decision. Actually, he can win it. If the D-backs take the lead this inning, he could win it. So I do stand corrected. He could possibly get a win. Scherzer says uh, not so fast. Now, Scherzer has faced 24 batters, so he gets to face two more this inning. By the time he gets to the pitcher's spot, he will be tired. And for the... Diamondbacks, they already have uh, Christian Walker warming up or loosening in the on-deck circle to pinch hit. So Christian Walker will pinch hit for Robbie Ray here in the top of the eighth. And then Yoshi Hirano would be coming in to pitch. So right now, however, it is Nick Ahmed who gets to lead off the festivities here in the top of the eighth against Max. And he struck out twice, 0 for 2. 5-5, five, five, that's the ballpark card going to Nationals Park. 5-6, that's a ground ball to short. Turner is there, one away. And that's going to take us to Carson Kelly. 1-4, range play at Nationals Park. 2-2, two, two. that's a ground ball to second. It's a range check on Dozier. He's only a two. But he gets to it, so Dozier, a nice play. So two outs. They're going to go to Christian Walker. See if he can do a blast here to, to tie the game. He did have 15. He's got a home and rain of 15 against right-handed pitching, so not certainly not out of the question if he can get a hold of one. And on the replay, Christian Walker is does have 16 home runs on the replay, so definitely a long ball threat. This is Scherzer's now. He is tired. He has faced 26 batters. This is batter 27. So if Scherzer hits the fatigue rolls, he's got to come out. 3-2 is a hit-by-pitch chance, but that's too much, so Walker will get the swing. 6-5, and he's going to fly to right field, and that's going to end the inning. Another 1-2-3 inning for Scherzer. And Scherzer has now gone eight shutout innings. And the way the bullpen's going, they may just let Scherzer, a tired Scherzer is probably better than a fresh anybody else. So they may let him try to finish the game. So nothing doing for the D-backs as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Still one to nothing. And now Yoshi Hirano will come on. And we'll get the numbers on Hirano. Or in his replay. On the replay, Yoshi Hirano is 2 and 1 with a 1 4 1 2 ERA and one save. So Yoshi Hirano, the right hander, is on. And he's going to be facing the top of the order Trey Turner, Victor Robles, and Anthony Rendon. So Adam Eaton is available to bat for Ren for Robles, uh, so we'll see about whether they want to do that or not. Let's see. Let's just play it out. They got a one nothing lead, so we're going to just let it go. Trey Turner hits two for three with two stolen bases and scored the only run of the game. 6-5. He's not tired. Toronto's first batter, so he's definitely not tired, so it won't be a single. 
six two is a fly to left, one away. Morano takes care of Trey Turner. One down for Victor Robles. One one strikeout plus, and he got him. That's two down. For Anthony Rendon, who had the RBI double his last time up. To account for the only run. 4-6, strikeout chance. 16 is too much. 1-1 one, one is a question mark 8, and against a right-hander, 1-8 to eight is a single. That's a 5, so it's a base hit for Anthony Rendon. He is now 2 for 4. He's got a tempt of 1, but Hirano's a minus 1, so no strategy role to employ. Here is Juan Soto. Now the question is, do you bring in a lefty to face Juan Soto, or do you let Hirano finish it out? You know what? They're going to go to the lefty Andrew Chafin. Because they see that home run total for Soto. Big differential there between lefty and righty for home runs. So Hirano goes two-thirds of an inning, gives up a hit, and got the, gets the strikeout. And the runner on base is his responsibility. But they're going to go to the left-hander, play the percentages. And left-hander Andrew Chafin is going to come on. And on the replay, Andrew Chafin is 0-1 with a 3.38 ERA and no saves. So his job specifically is just to get Juan Soto. Now, again, he has no attempt to steal, but there is a pickoff chance, so we'll roll for that. But nothing's happening. Soto, Chafin to Soto. 1-6 is a hit by pitch. He's a 3 minus the 2, so no hit by pitch. Soto swings. 6-1, he flies to left, and that's going to end the inning. We can close the book on Hirano. He gives up nothing. Chafin gets the out. So we go to the top of the ninth. I can honestly say I've never had a one nothing game. I don't think I've ever had a one nothing game in any sport or any replay on any game engine. But got a chance to do it here. I don't want to. I probably just jinxed it though. But Mad Max is going to try for the shutout. Now they do have Sean Doolittle loosely in the bullpen just in case. Because Mad Max is tired, and if he hits the fatigue roll, he has to come out. There is no choice. Dave Martinez says you have to come out. We can't do anything about it. But sure is going to give it a go. And actually on the replay uh, PC, he's not tired yet on the replay PC, but he is tired in the inside pitch. So Dyson's going to lead off the top of the order. Dyson, Marte, and Peralta. On the bench for the Diamondbacks, as far as pinch hitters go, they've already used uh, Christian Walker. So... You're looking at either Caleb Joseph, uh, Vargas, who's a decent hitter, switch hitter, or LaCastro. LaCastro is probably better as a pinch runner. So Vargas, they could pinch hit for somebody, but you're at the top of the order, so it's kind of hard to pinch hit for any of these guys. Because uh, Dyson, if he gets on base, he runs so well. But he only hits 230, so he's 0 for 3. You know what? They're going to make the move. They're going to bring in this guy, pinch hit. Il, Il Demaro Vargas. I'm not sure how, how the first name is pronounced. I'm fairly sure the last name is Vargas. But we'll see because Dyson's 0 for 3. I don't care how fast you are. If you don't get on base, it does you no good. So Vargas is in. And if, it, and if they tie the game, they'll figure out defensive, defensive stuff later. Vargas can play the outfield and they can move somebody else to center. Maybe Peralta or Jones can move to center. But right now they're worried more about getting to the bottom of the ninth, not what they're going to do when they get there. So Vargas, the switch hitter, stands it against Scherzer. And as you've seen on Scherzer's card, he has quite a few strikeouts against righties. So the switch hitter keeping it as a left-hander is important as well. Scherzer to Vargas. 5-2. It's a walk plus against the lefty, so it's a pinch hit walk. And actually, in this case, Dyson would have walked also. He's a base running rate of three, which is not bad. He just can't get a steal attempt. So Vargas is on first base as the tying run. Do a little warming up in earnest in the bullpen, but Scherzer trying to hang on. And certainly Doolittle is no guarantee of anything. Here's the dangerous Cattell Marte. 3-4. That's a strikeout plus. And that will get him. 7 plus the 10 is a 17. That's a 16. So we got him. Big strikeout for Max. One out here in the top of the ninth, one nothing game. Max trying to hold on. Here's Peralta. 
Five, five is the ballpark card. That's dangerous going to Nationals Park. Six, two. Oh, he just missed a home run. Six, one would have been a two-run homer. But six, two is a ground ball to first where it could be a double play. He's a two. Minus one is a one. They're halfway. Makes him a, th a two. So one to two. The game ends with a double play. Anything else, the game continues. It's a six, so runners are going to advance. Vargas is actually going to take second base. And all Kendrick can do is step on the bag himself. So now the tying run here in the top of the ninth with two outs is in scoring position at second base in the form of Vargas. And Adam Jones is the man that's up right now. Adam Jones. And I don't think they have anybody else. They're not going to pinch it for Jones, I don't believe. All you got left is Joseph and LaCastro. And Jones is a better hitter than both of those, according to the averages. Even though he is 0 for 3, but that might mean he's due. So Scherzer are trying to hang on and get this complete game shut out. It's only a 1-0 game, so a base hit here almost assuredly will tie the game. No strategy roll needed. Scherzer to Jones. 5-5. Five, five. Ballpark card again. Dangerously going to Nationals Park for Adam Jones. 4-2. It's a ground ball to third. I almost read 5-2 as a double, but 4-2 is a ground ball to third, and the ball game is over. Mad Max completes the shutout. Complete game shutout for Mad Max. And the Nationals are mobbing Mad Max on the mound right now. Is that is the as far as I can tell, the first complete game shutout that I've had in the replay. I think it might be the first one-nothing game I've ever had in the replay. Uh definitely, if you like pitching, you came to the right spot, and I do love pitching. And so Mad Max gutted it out for the victory. Nationals improved to 39 and 30. And Arizona falls to 44 and 25. We'll do the totals. Oops, hold on. I got a sp spider or something on my book here. A little baby spider or something. I was crawling where that came from. Surprised the cats didn't get that already. It's summertime. You might get little bugs coming in here left and right. You never know. They sneak in sometimes. Uh, let's see. Threw, that, threw me off a bit here. All right, one to nothing, the final. Seven run, uh, one run, seven hits, and no errors for the Nationals. No runs, two hits, and one error for Arizona. So Mad Max pitches a two-hit shutout. Left on base, Arizona left six. and I'm sorry, Washington left six. Arizona left four. Got that backwards. Didn't think Arizona had six base runners to leave on. So they actually left on four, and Washington left on six. So Scherzer gets the win. He improves to 8-4. and four. And his ERA, check that out. His ERA has dropped. Oops, get over here. His ERA has dropped from 2.64 to 2.42. So he is 8-4. and four. Robbie Ray, a really tough luck loss. He drops to eight and five on the replay. Really tough luck loss for Robbie Ray. He deserved a better fate, pitching seven innings, giving up six hits and a run. One walk and nine strikeouts. The double by Anthony Rendon was the difference between the game being over and going to extra innings. So the Nationals win a tight one, one to nothing. Like I said, I don't think I've ever had a one nothing game. I, I may have, but if it has, it has been it has been quite a while ago. So. After all these blowouts and bullpens getting worn out and all that stuff, it's very refreshing, at least to me, to have a one nothing pitching duel. Combine one run, nine hits from both teams in the game. The only error by Arizona. And that was... That was... Who, who committed that error? That was in the... That was the throwing error by the pitcher, Robbie Ray. That was the only... Only error that came about. So there you go. one nothing the final. And we now move on to game 70. And in game 70, it will be Steven Strasburg against... Against Taylor Clark. Don't really know about much about Taylor Clark, but he is the starter for the Arizona in the next game against Steven Strasburg. Nationals have even the series at a game apiece. The 10-game homestand continues with game three, which will be of the series, which will be game 70 of the season. 
with Strasburg against Clark. So again, final score, Washington behind a complete game from Max Scherzer. Beats the Diamondbacks one to nothing. Game 69 in the books. Till next time, enjoy playing whatever game you choose to play, however you choose to play it, and I will see you all down the road.